Hello my friends and welcome back to the snow game. So what are we doing here today? Well as you might notice we're not exactly on the latest build of Subnautica Below Zero and there's a reason for that. A bit of backstory. When Below Zero came into early access first we get a little glimpse of what the story of the sequel would be. But later down the line you know some people left the studio, some things happened and long story short we get a massive rewrite of the story. So much so that many of the core elements and the core beats of the narrative changed completely. Now this means that the story you can experience in the latest build right now is quite different from what we had at the start. Today I am here in this version because from my understanding the March 2020 build is the last one which had the original version of the Below Zero storyline and well I'm very curious to see just what exactly it would have been. Okay press the button let's see. I believe this will start the same way as the first version we tried when I went into the early access builds. Okay uh, there's the ringing PDA. Hey Sam. Evacuation, there's a meteor storm, it's closer than they thought. Okay, so we're talking to Jeff here. His last GPS was at a cave entrance and we're going up there. Okay, so things are immediately happening. As you can see, if you've only been playing the uh, most recent version, you would have never seen this beginning. Okay, so clearly this station is, some things are happening. There's lights flashing. I can't open the cargo room. Can we, can we lo look through it? Oh yeah, look, here's the cargo room. There's even a PDA in there. How is there a PDA if we cannot enter? Look at this, it's even a freaking locker with stuff on the inside. This door is uh, not even attached properly. That's interesting. Maybe this was meant to be accessible later and just never quite got there. Okay, what about this room? Pretty much just a bedroom with another PDA. Wait, I want to see. <clears throat> I teleported my way in. You have an Altera PDA. Wow, okay, so this, this actually has stuff on it. It's about Robin. Performance D. Well, that sucks. What about here in the cargo room? A task list. Yeah, I can't open any of these. So strange that, I mean, this area looks pretty complete to me. I don't really understand why they wouldn't make it accessible. And then look at this. Through here is the laboratory. Again, another locked door. But here you can see what it looks like when it's not destroyed yet. Ah yes, that is a beautiful poster. Uh, the Emperor produces enzyme, Peeper delivers enzyme, Emperor relies on ecosystem for food chain. I mean yeah that's it's pretty accurate you could call it an oversimplification but it is true. <laughs> All right and we are out and immediately you can see some stuff that you would not be able to see in the finished version or even in the earliest versions. Look at this. It's like it's a shuttle from Al Altera. I'm guessing kind of an evacuation shuttle. Um, seems untextured and seems quite incomplete but it's cool. I can still pick up snow <laughs> that's pretty funny. There's no Jeff. Jeff woke me up now Jeff is gone? Okay so it's the facility speaking. Okay I, I, just a quick restart apparently fixed the voice acting. Low power huh? We woke something up. Yeah we sure did. Mm, different Robin voice back then. Obviously we have to look what's through here. We have two rooms which are frozen over I guess you could say. Nothing in this one and nothing in that one. Well how about that? Well alright, let's get out of here. Ooh, okay. Man, I still love this opening. It's what I said in the last episode as well. I think this is a really, really strong way to open the game. Even if we might not know exactly what was supposed to be happening with all the story. What? I'm not on that ship. Wait, 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 I want to see this ship real quick. Oh yeah, look at this, it's actually just taken away. Obviously there's nobody inside, but here it is. Oh, and here comes the avalanche. I mean, look at that, that is so freaking cool. Oh, and this cracks the ice. Oh man, and <laughs> the water did not activate. Uh, okay, well that sucks. Well, alright, I guess we have to walk through. Um, clearly this version had some kinks that still needed to be ironed out. Yep, here we are. Ooh, it was just hit by something. I saw an explosion. Ooh, okay, this is actually pretty dire. Again, really strong opening. I, I just have to keep saying this. Wait, so normally through here, this is actually where you would find the start of the game. What is through here in this version? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, back then this area did not exist and you would probably never really access it. Oh boy, it is, it is foggy, holy crap. They definitely made the weather less intense. Look at this, I cannot see a thing. An emergency cache, yeah, let's go check it out. I kind of want to play with the story beats, at least for a little bit to see kind of where it takes us. Okay, we have a new transmission. Ah, alien noises, my favorite. Okay, so we got directed to go to the sanctuary. Let's see what happens in here, eh? Searching for emergency storage. 
I assume you're gonna find one very quickly. Why? Good question. It sounds like you're in trouble. It does, actually, yes. So I'm gonna guess this uh, animation will be very similar to what happens in the final version. I mean, so far, it's interesting how this story beat happens all the same, even though the beginning is very different. Whoa, I actually like that effect. Is that in the final game? It looks a little crazier than the final version is. Whoa, I like the fire on the sides of the screen. Okay, very interesting. So yeah, this happens pretty much the same way as it does in the finished version. The question is, what do we do next? And why is this effect still on my screen? I want to go see the island. Um, I believe the Marge encounter should already be here. Oh, okay, that's right, because the, uh, the signal went out. Okay, let's repair this tower, shall we? Is anything gonna happen? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so I guess the encounter wasn't here. I swear I could remember it being here. Oh, and look at this. This base is also not destroyed. Just a nice base, really. Not much we can do here. Okay, so we can fix this, but we need two things for it. Okay, that's the advanced wiring kit. And that's the salvage. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Sam, are you up there? Bad Jeff. Okay. Whoa! West. Oh, this triggers now. Oh my god, the dialogues are overlapping. Uh, what is she doing with that tablet? It's a good question. Oh my god, I'm so sorry I triggered him at the same time. So she didn't tell her about, you know, Alan being in our head. And we need two titanium for this. What? Oh my god, it just popped up here. Okay, so for two titaniums, we were able to build the, the rocket. There's no items currently being requested. You know, I'm pretty impressed that two titanium pieces just built that whole thing. Now the real question is, could we already find Marge at her base? It appears we can already visit her. You know how many lawsuits are out on me? I, I don't. Whoa, okay, already getting the doggo encounter. What's the dialogue gonna be? Name's Marguerite Maida. Now, you owe me. You trained a stalker? That's impressive. Been here? Too long. That alien tablet you had. I need it. You mean this thing? Yeah, that could be nice. What do oh. I care what you need? What do you care about? Lady, I want off this jumped up puddle of a planet. Oh if really? I help you, will you give me the tablet? If you help me, I won't kill you. It's a start. Okay. Okay, so she just wants me to get off her sea base. That's so interesting. Wait, does this mean ooh, we can explore the rest of her base? Like, all of this is here, but I don't think you can really access it, at least not at the start. The interaction seemed a little off, right? Like, I was expecting there to be more crashed escape ship signal. Well, let's go check that out, shall we? Okay, here we are. There should be a crashed ship somewhere. Oh, I cannot see a... D a thing they really turned the weather up in this version okay here's the ship okay well not much around here the ship didn't really give us anything and i thought maybe exploring this dilapidated base would help but no nah, we didn't really get anything here either it sure is pretty out here though Ooh, oh look at this we found the bridge so in this version the uh, the bridge is very much just fine it's extended and uh looking like it's nobody's business i wonder if there's the ice worm okay so we did already have the ice worm whoa it freaking came from out of the cave oh that is so cool oh look at this a purple tablet so alan says there is something nearby and uh it's probably in here right okay well let's put it in and see what happens is the piece of him gonna be here Oh, yes, there is. Oh, no. Uh, well, that's just lovely, isn't it? Okay, so uh, the game crashed on us. That's lovely. Okay, well, I, I think that's actually a pretty good place to end this uh, initial exploration into the story. Let me know if you guys found this interesting. I would love to kind of keep digging. And what's perhaps more important is that I believe there is a way to uncover what the ending was supposed to be of this original version of the game. So let me know if you'd be interested in me pretty much looking into this and seeing if we can play through it. I think there's a ton of theories that we could craft based on that, and I would really love the opportunity to give it a try. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this throwback into the past. If you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. Let me know if you'd like to see part two. And with that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever 
next video I make. Bye-bye.